I never had dealt with um, with a special needs child. I had never experienced that in my family or with my friends. I didn't know where to turn to. And when we came to Eden, it was the best. It was the best one, and I, I, I wanted the best for my son. If you can give back to the uh, community that gave you so much, then that's the greatest reward. The return you get, even though you don't expect a return, uh, is something that you can't replace. It's a very positive fulfillment of what human beings are about. Eden is all Chris has ever known. He came here at five years old. He's going to be 27 this April. They've done nothing but uh, made him who he is. He's, he's as he likes to say, he, he's a man, and he is, and he's a man with autism. Rail was very into herself. She would stay under the bed or hang out in her closet, no social skills at all. And almost immediately when she came to Eden, uh, it was a different person. They gave her this little computer now. She has hundreds, thousands of words that she understands and can communicate. She used to throw tantrums all the time because she couldn't tell us what she wanted. It's just an unbelievable change. Really helped the quality of life, not only for Brielle, but for Stacy and me as well. Eden was the first charity that I, I became intimately involved with, and it, I became an instant believer. It really taught me the meaning of charity and, and how to develop uh, charity models. We believe our strongest suit was to raise the money for charities. We were able to put together an event that turned out to be an absolutely terrific event with the 5K. Jerry Fenley started our Eden Run uh, eight years ago, and as, as Jerry has tendency to do, he starts the run and gets the organization to take it over and to sustain it over the long term. It's now in its ninth year of, of making revenue for Eden. Runners, take your mark! Jerry had the original vision of the Eden 5K race, and we were extremely fortunate to have Munich Re um, join us and bring the race to the next level. 2011, for example, the race netted in excess of $100,000. So the, the involvement has grown significantly, the fundraising has grown significantly, and the commitment has grown significantly. Without the, the, the fundraising from those kinds of events, uh, the adult programs in particular wouldn't be able to um, survive. I think it's fundamental that companies, corporations, are involved in community work. The question is, what community work should you be involved in? From our perspective, Eden was an easy choice. It was an easy choice, largely because I'm, I'm going to put it down into three heroes. You have the, the children themselves and the young adults that are affected by autism that we can see and how they get through life every single day. You have the parents and the family members. And then you have the Eden organization itself that helps to pull all that together and allows the means for families affected by autism to conduct life a little bit easier every single day. Our involvement with Eden is not one person. It's not just the company. It extends throughout the company, I would say, down to virtually every employee in some way or another. We were met with a host of Munich Re staff member volunteers, both at the old building and the new building, who had given up their Saturday to help us with this incredible move, and that they basically got us into the new building in half the time we originally anticipated. When you pull it all together, it's the collective energy that you feel when you walk into the office every single day. And it is genuine. It has to come from within you. 
um, and I think a lot of people who work in this agency believe in what they do and believe in making a difference. The people here at Eden really care about their students and I wish you could have seen what Brielle was like before because then you'll understand how she is now. It's part of who he is um, and not a lot of programs can uh, boast that and, and Eden can. They love these kids, they love these young adults, um, they want to make their lives better and to give them the materials and the resources and the fundamentals that make it easier for them to do their job, that help them do their job, is an incredible sense of gift from whoever's on the giving end because we know the children on the receiving end deserve nothing less. You know, you become a different person when you stop to help people. 